In this video, we'll look at an overview of audio effects. Be sure to check out the other videos to look at each specific effect. Audio effects are tools that you can use to adjust the sound of any individual track in Soundtrap. And each effect does something slightly different. It might help you to think of effects as if they are software or digital guitar pedals. You can use effects on basically anything in Soundtrap. A voice, a recorded instrument that you recorded with a microphone, or a software instrument, anything that's based in MIDI, audio files that you import, basically anything except the master track. And Soundtrap effects are color-coded by type. Let's look at them real quick. These are all the Soundtrap effects. You'll see these three purple are kind of a distortion overdrive category. The pink are all things that are dynamic, so things that change over time, either pan, wah, chorus, flanger, etc. They have some sort of motion in them. The blue are spatial, so basically reverbs and delays. Yellow are EQ and compression, and the green are kind of their own miscellaneous category. In case you're not sure what a particular effect does or how it sounds, you can click this little play button underneath each effect, which gives you a quick demo of what that effect sounds like. The process for adding effects is pretty simple, and it's essentially the same for all different types of tracks, but I'll show you a few different ways that look slightly different. So for this first option, I'm gonna come over here to the top left and I'm gonna click on this microphone icon, and that's gonna pull up this track. Then I can just go straight to this purple effects button, and I can see the effects that are already applied, and if I wanna add new ones, say add effect, and now I can choose from our whole library of effects. And I just select one, and then it will be added to the effects chain, where you can see here all the different effects in a certain order, that's where they are. The process is essentially the same for every track, but it might look slightly different. So for example, if I go to this djembe track and I click on this icon, you'll see I can add effect by clicking this. It takes me to the same effects, but it's a slightly different way of getting there. And on a drum track, it looks like this, add effects, brings you to the same place. And on a synth, again, click here and go to effects. Takes you to the same place. Once you add an effect, you'll see the controls here and you can adjust the controls by clicking down on your mouse and dragging straight up or straight down. You can temporarily turn off effects by clicking this little power button, or if you know you don't like it, you can click the X and totally delete that effect. That's it for this one. In some following videos, we'll look more in depth at some specific effects and how to use them.